Clark in the backfield. Winsler back, has time, throws, and just wide. Was looking for Lynch. If Lynch the holder, showing pressure on the near side. The kick is up. Shoots it wide left and no good. Bring in an extra tight end. Now bring that top receiver in motion. Jet sweep coming to the near side. Picks up a couple blockers, has some running room. First down yardage and more before being forced out of bounds. And in motion behind the formation. Handoff, trying the middle, finding running room, spinning for more is Frederick Pitts. Talker in motion, that's Turner. Rolling, pitching out to Pitts on the near side. He lost his footing, and the Oilers stop it. And they'll turn it over on downs. The right. Matt with plenty of time. Throws complete to Richardson. Wensler back, looking, looking, has pressure in his face, throws the check down in the middle of the field, finding running room, bouncing it to the outside, across the midfield, 45, and then forced out near the 40-yard line. Left, empty backfield. Winsler throws, and an incomplete. Tried hitting Richardson, he ran an out, and then come across, and pretty good coverage out there. And each team forces a turnover on down. Shuffle the defensive front. Play action, rolling near side, looking. Boy, talk about getting away with a major push off there. That's exactly what happened. Ernst looks, throws to the man in the middle and close to another first down. Handoff. Got a nice block right at the point of attack. Runs through another arm tackle. Still dragging Oilers for a first down and more down near the Oilers 31-yard line. Ernst has time, throws, and boy, what a great job by the receiver. He kind of jumped in between two defenders. The Ernst go under center. Nope, now he's going to shift back into the gun, put the back to his left. couple tight ends on the end of the line. Hand off and breaks the plane and finds the end zone. They just loaded up and slammed it in there. He's the inside in motion. That's Lynch. Sends him out top. Back. Throws the check down and incomplete. Snap back. Gets her off. Fair catch is going to be called and made inside the Oiler 40 near the 38 for Evan Ernst. Handoff, faked, keeps it, bounces to the outside, brings it to the middle, first down yardage and more. Field. Fake the give, throw the slant, complete. And has a first down inside the Oiler 10 and down near the 7. To the left, one to the right. Handoff, Pitts, no. Ernst faked it to Pitts and bounced it outside himself on the read and finds the end zone from eight yards out. And the Panthers now lead it 13 to nothing. Ernst back, looks, now flushed, and he's going to be wrapped up. And I think Spire is the first one there. Handoff, first down yardage, and fights for a couple of extra after the fact. Winsler back, throws complete, first down yardage for Jacob Brown. Two receivers left, one to the right on third down. Throw out in the flat, complete, and dodges the man, does Jake Brown. Now looks to cut it back towards the middle, and it'll be spun down inside the Panther 30, near the 27. Same formation as last, wide out each side, but bring a tight end to the backfield. Play action, little check down dump, first down yardage to Jake Brown, down to about the 15, maybe even the 14-yard line. The give again, Lynch, oh, that's, oh, ball pops loose, picked up by the Panthers, and the Oilers faithful want to say that he was down, I'm not sure. Lynch was trying to spin out of that tackle around the five, and when he did, 
Rob Keys talking with the officials in a very animated style. Wensler back, loads up, looking long, and intercepted, but I think we're going to get pass interference. He can return this, but I'm pretty sure this is going to come back. So first down for the Oilers. Again, a wide out to each side. Low snap, handoff goes to Clark. He's got first down yardage and a little more on a second effort. Two to the right, one to the left. Throw it out. Good catch by Watt. Uh, ball came out late. Are they gonna say that's a fumble? Looked like he was down again. Official says it's fumbled and recovered by the Panthers. Well, Coach Key said in the pregame, whoever wins the turnover battle is probably going to win the game. And right now, that is strongly in favor of the Panthers. Receivers to the left, one to the right for Ernst. Play action fake, throws a quick one out here in the flat, and the Oilers all over it and stop it for a loss. Great play in space. Out to the right. Quick little throw on that inside slot receiver complete and takes it out across the midfield line and into ODU territory. Handoff, splits a gap, fights up the sideline, Lynch still fighting and then eventually forced out of bounds. Good to see Derek back in there. We mentioned he kind of got an ankle tweaked earlier. Looking, end zone, wants Jake Brown. Battled, is it intercepted? Yep. And it stays at 14 nothing. And off again, first down yardage and more for Benson. Two to the left, one to the right. Floats a throw out here to Richardson. Tries to make a man miss and then actually drag a couple of tacklers a few extra yards. First down yardage and more from Coach Keys. And we'll wrap things up and look ahead a little bit to Lake Erie College game next week. Breaks the seam, does Lynch, sidesteps, still on his feet, takes it inside the five before being brought down from behind. Two to the right, one to the left. Hand off and into the end zone, touchdown Oilers. Derek Lynch takes it in, the final four yards. Looks like a normal kickoff here, and it is going to be a regular kickoff. Drives it back deep, fielded around the two. And submarine out, ball comes loose! Ball comes loose! No signal yet! And the Oilers come up with it for a touchdown against Walsh. And if he comes up with that one, too, he's going to earn a place in the special teams, Oilers Special Teams Hall of Fame. And the Oilers have life with 3.55 left. Handoff Lynch got caught in the backfield. Kick is up, and the kick is good position. Flush from the pocket and tripped up for the loss. The consequence. Hand off Pitts, and he's going to be dropped for a loss again. And the Oilers will take another timeout from their own 13. The give to Pitts, and Coach Kelly Cummings not going to give him a free stoppage a clock on trying to throw the ball in that situation so Rob Keys will use his final timeout fourth down and long coming up and the Panthers are going to punt it away into a punt situation which was shanked badly give the Oilers an outstanding field position and are in this position now need a first down Winsler back throws and not able to hold on in and out of the hands of his receiver 
Went to Marlon Richardson. It would have been enough for a first down, but Marlon couldn't hold on to it. Good coverage on the back side of it. And the Panthers will take a couple of kneels. And they'll post their eighth victory against the Oilers. <laughs> 